What's going on everyone? This is ODC. It's me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse 30th Anniversary Edition Batman from Batman the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, now, there, this, um, there was a version of the Dark Knight Returns action figure released by Mattel before and that was in his black and gray version. This is in his blue, yellow, and gray version. Um, so I do have both. We'll do some comparisons, but I'm pretty sure that the only thing that's different on this figure than the other one is the paint deco and the head sculpt. Everything else is exactly the same. It comes with the same batarang, everything. Um, but I'm going to take a closer look and just to make sure, you know, make sure the capes are the same and everything, but I'm pretty sure that it's the deco and the head sculpt are different. Um, pretty happy about this being released. Um, we, I was hoping to eventually down the line, maybe sometime, get a uh, blue and gray version of Batman uh, from the Dark Knight uh, Returns. Um, but, you know, ever since there was that scare of, you know, Mattel not making figures anymore, and I kind of gave up on Mattel figures, I'm, I've been kind of protesting them. And then this came out, and I'm a big fan of this look in, in the, uh, the Motu body, so decided to pick them up. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on to opening up the figure and all that jazz. If I can find something to open this up with. Uh, I, excuse me, I'm actually shooting this on my iP iPad. So I don't have a pause button on my iPad for some odd reason. But, you know me, I don't edit anything. So we're going to open up the box together. And we can discuss Batman versus Superman. How's that? Uh, pretty excited about it. I keep hearing more and more leaked stuff or seeing more and more leaked stuff uh, about the movie. Uh, just I, at this point, I just want to go see it. It's it's next month. It's coming closer and closer, and it feels like it's been a lifetime away. You know what I mean? Like, I, I never thought that we would actually see the day. Like, I didn't think I would see the day that we would see a Batman versus Superman movie. Or a Batman and a Superman teaming, Superman teaming up in a movie. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, I'm pretty excited about the movie. I think it'll. I think it'll be a good movie. It'll be a good solid movie. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the movie. Uh, you know, if you're a DC fan, whether you're a Marvel fan, I mean, we're all comic book fans here, and that's all that matters, right? So, excuse me while I make lots of annoying noise in the microphone. I'm gonna try to pull this away from the microphone. Okay, there we go. We got him out. Don't worry, we got him out. And now we got his little bad ring out. Okay. So, here we go. Now, we're back here, and we got we have Batman out. And I really love <laughs> the Dark Knight, uh, that they decided to go with the Motu body. I just think it, it looks beautiful with this body. Um, it, it's, uh, I always liked the uh, Motu figures. They were just way too expensive. And I just find it very interesting that this figure is 20 bucks and you know the the motu figures are like what 24 30 when they come right out you know what i mean um and this is on the same body you know what i mean it's not like they're using a different body buck here it's the same body just uh used a little bit differently it's batman instead of he-man you know but uh, I just think that's, I always thought that was interesting that they charged 20 bucks for these and then that's uh, 24 to 30 for uh, <laughs> a regular Motu figure like uh, Batros or anyone. But uh, I digress off that little rant. <laughs> Let's go back to the figure at hand here. He does come with this little blue Batarang here. I think I would have preferred it if this Batarang was black. I, I don't think it really needed to be blue. I don't even think that's accurate. But... Uh, like I said, the face sculpt is different, and I'm just going to grab my Dark Knight Returns Batman. Quick. Let's see if I can grab him without knocking everything over. Aha, victory. Now I'm all tangled up. Jesus. Okay. Back to the disaster that, that is this reveal. Um, here we go. We have Batman 
both both versions and as you can see they're on the same exact body they're on the same exact body just different heads here he's got the open mouth he's got the closed mouth uh, and different paint deco same exact body even down to the cape it's the exact same thing so it's it's almost like Mattel gave you a second chance in case you missed out on this guy um, you can you can pick up the the, the gray and blue version um, that, which was in the beginning of the story arc uh, and then he wore the black and gray at the end of the story arc and then you know he wore the the suit at the very end but looks pretty cool um uh Mattel did release that they are going to come out with the armored suit in uh on the motu body which is actually an all new sculpt which is i think looks pretty good I'll, I'll probably pick that up um i don't know if i intend on picking up one of the sons of batman figures i may or may not i don't know but they also did release that they're going to release the uh mutant leader as well so um but it looks really good i think uh nice comparison right here uh, the gloves are the same like ever everything is pretty much exactly the same as my hand is way in the way I'm sorry uh, But I think it looks really good as far as his articulation does go Let me just set this Batman aside here for a second his head can swivel full 360 not that you would need the head to do that But his, his head can't look up about that far and does really want to look down at all Oh, so we got some job turkeys. Oh, we do um, but there you go with that. Um, he's, his hands can swivel at the wrist, a single bend at the elbow, and he does have a bicep swivel, and his arms can go up about that far. Really good range of motion in the arms. Uh, can do a full 360 rotation if you need it to. He does have an ab crunch, which goes forward, and doesn't really want to go back, but that's pretty much it. Uh, he does have a waist swivel right here. And he does have T-joint hips, which go out. Really good splits, actually. Uh, so if you're familiar with the Motu body, then you'll you'll know what this thing can do. He's kind of wearing like a diaper thing, but I think it works. I think it looks really good. And then his legs can go back as well. And they do swivel up top at the thigh. Single bend at the knee. He does have a boot swivel. An ankle hinge. And... He well, this one had I think this one had a little bit of an ankle pivot. I guess there's a little bit of a pivot there, but not not really too much. But I mean, he's pretty simple when it comes to what he is. He's he's a Motu Buck. That's Batman. You know what I mean? I mean, if you pair him up with any Motu body, it, it's going to look very similar. I don't know where I put all my Motu figures. Just to bring in uh, as an example, we'll just go with Batros here. As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same body that they're using. But uh, different crotch piece, different boots, gloves. I mean, there are there there is obviously new sculpted pieces. It's not 100% reuse. I believe actually the upper torso is a new torso. As opposed to the, you know, the nipple exposed torso that they have for Masters. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I really, like I said, I really do enjoy uh, this Motu body buck. And I enjoy the fact that they can, they can give us this. Because he's supposed to look larger. Like he did in the, uh, the film and the, um, the graphic novel. So, and here we go just for a size comparison. There's your... Uh, DC superheroes gray and blue Batman right there as a comparison to see how much larger he actually is so um, But yeah final verdict I'd say he's a he's a decent pickup I'd give him two thumbs up and I would recommend him let me get my other thumb in there sorry <laughs> uh, I would definitely recommend him I like him I like the uh, the gray and black and now I like the gray and blue I think it looks really cool it would be really nice if they did come out with a uh, uh, blue and gray, but with battle damage, that would be really some blood on his nose and the, the bat symbol all scratched up from the mutant leader and just kind of bewildered and beat up. <laughs> uh, that would be really cool if they did that maybe as a mutant leader, Batman two pack, kind of like what similar to what Mezco did. But, um, yeah, overall like this figure, I do enjoy it. Um, his battering can fit in both hands. No problem. He kind of is stuck with these gripping hands from Motu, which is looks like he's giving the thumbs up all the time. But 
Uh, he does have the spines on his gauntlets and the cape looks pretty good too. Maybe he should have came with a, his grapple rifle. That would have been a nice little touch, but it's Mattel, you know. It's a $20 figure, so. Um, but other than that, I do enjoy the figure. I'm glad to have it. Um, I think I, I can pair these two up next to each other, and I think they'll look nice on my display shelf. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.